Hello everyone, this is Dr. Irfan Kamruddin Andani. In my next few lectures, I will try to simplify a few phenomena that are natural and also part of your normal journey from primary teeth to permanent teeth. Let's start with ugly duckling stage. This is a topic which is very easy to understand but it is very important from your examination point of view and also from clinician point of view because many parents get so much worried about the appearance of diastemas and spaces between maxillary permanent anterior teeth when their children turn 8 or 9 years of age. They just need counseling and reassurance that this is a natural phenomena that used to occur when permanent canines are erupting and this does not need any orthodontic intervention. It is self-corrective type of malocclusion. What happens that when canines are in developing and erupting stage, they press the roots of lateral incisors. This cause flaring of the lateral incisors and the roots of lateral incisors do the same with the roots of central incisors. This leads to appearance of the spaces in between all the four anterior teeth. But remember that lateral incisors are also providing guidance for the canines to erupt. So if you try to close these spaces at this stage, this may lead to the disturbance in the normal eruptive pathway of the canine. So there is no need of orthodontic intervention. In fact, if you try to close the spaces, this may cause sometimes the impaction of the canines. This is a self-corrective type of malocclusion and when canines erupt, the spaces are spontaneously closed. You can see in this radiograph that the way the canines are pressing the roots of lateral incisors and the appearance of diastema and spaces between all four anterior teeth. Thank you very much. In my next lecture, I will discuss about few more phenomena you come across in the transient dentition.